What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to evaluate logarithms, all right? And I'm going to show you how to do it without a calculator first and then with a calculator. All right, so let's start with this one up here. So we have log base 4 of 64. So what we're basically looking for here is an exponent. So we're trying to figure out uh, this number raised to what power is equal to 64. Okay, so we can write it over here as 4 raised to what power is equal to 64. Okay, well, 4 raised to the third power is equal to 64, right? So then our exponent over here is just equal to 3. Okay, so then that means this guy over here, log base 4 of 64, is equal to 3, right? That's what our answer for this one. Uh, now, same thing over here, log base 5 of 0 0.2. Again, we're just trying to figure out what the exponent is. So it's basically 5 raised to what power is equal to 0 0.2, okay? So again, 5 raised to what power is equal to 0 0.2, all right? Now, it might not be super obvious at first, uh, but 0 0.2, that's the same thing as 1 fifth, right? So we could rewrite this a little bit as 5 raised to what power is equal to 1 fifth, okay? And then here we can see that it would be a negative 1, right? Uh, because 5 raised to the negative first power is equal to 1 over 5. Okay, so since our exponent is negative 1, that means this guy, log base 5 of 0 0.2, is equal to negative 1. Okay, next one. Log base 1 fifth of 125, right? So again, what is the exponent right here that's equal to 125, right? So we're saying that 1 fifth raised to some exponent is equal to 125. Okay, now we could try different numbers for x. So you could plug in a 1, right? 1 fifth raised to the first power, right? So if x was equal to 1, 1 fifth raised to the first power is equal to 1 fifth. What if you put uh, 0, right? Well, 1 fifth raised to the 0 power would be equal to 1. Uh, okay, so we're getting bigger, right? We're headed in the right direction. What if you put a negative 1? So 1 fifth raised to the negative 1 power. Well, whenever you have a fraction raised to a negative exponent, you basically just flip your fraction and then turn the exponent positive. So then basically we would have 1 fifth raised to the negative 1 is the same thing as 5 over 1 raised to the first power, which is equal to just basically 5 to the first, which is just 5, right? So you could see if our exponent here was a 3, well, 5 raised to the third power would be equal to 125, right? So maybe this should be negative 3, right? And that's exactly what it is. So our exponent over here is x is equal to negative 3, okay? So log base 1 fifth of 125 is equal to negative 3, okay? Uh, here we have log base 36 of 6. So 36 raised to what power is equal to 6, right? So 36 raised to what power is equal to 6? Well, one thing you might notice is if we took the square root of 36, that would be equal to 6, right? So is there a way to write a square root as an exponent? Well, there is, right? Uh, so a square root is the same thing as the 1 half power. So saying 36 raised to the 1 half power, that's the same thing as the square root of 36, which again is equal to 6, right? So then our exponent here is 1 half. So then this guy right here is equal to 1 half. Okay, now here we have log of 0 0.001. So as you can tell, there's no number here, right? So whenever there's no number here, this is actually called a common log. And a common log, basically it's implied that the little number over here is a 10, okay? So you could basically read this as log base 10 of 0 0.001, okay? So then we have 10 raised to some number is equal to 0 0.001, right? So 10, raised to some number is equal to 0.001. Okay, now it might not be super obvious what the answer is uh, right now, but just like we turned this decimal into a fraction, it might be helpful to do the same thing here. So we can write this as 10 raised to the x is equal to, and let's see, this ends in the tens, hundreds, thousands place, right? So we have one over 1,000. Okay, now 1,000, that's the same thing as 10 cubed, right? So we basically have 10 raised to some number is equal to 1 over 10 cubed. And now you can see that the exponent over here, 
uh, to match this one should be a negative 3, right? Because 10 raised to the negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over 10 to the positive 3. Okay, so since our exponent is equal to negative 3, again, that means this whole guy, log of 0 0.001 is equal to negative 3. All right, so that's how you solve these without a calculator. Now we're going to do some examples where you do have to use a calculator. Okay, so starting at the top, we have log base 2 of 21. So again, here we're looking for 2 raised to some exponent is equal to 21, right? So 2 raised to some exponent is equal to 21. So clearly there's no clean answer that we can find to solve for x, right? So we're gonna have to use a calculator in this case. So the way that you solve for the exponent here, so we can just say that x is equal to, and then we're gonna take the log of the two numbers that it gives you. So you're gonna take the log of the big number and divide it by the log of the little number. So we're gonna say the log of the big number goes on top, so 21, divided by the log of the little number goes on the bottom. Right, and it's kind of intuitive, right? The big number goes on top, the little number goes on the bottom. So then if you plug this into a calculator, you'll get that x is approximately equal to 4.39. Okay, so that's what our exponent is equal to, right? So that means this guy right here is equal to approximately 4.39, right? Uh, same thing over here, log base five of three sevenths. So this is, you know, basically five raised to some exponent is equal to three sevenths, okay? So again, no clear way of solving this by hand. So if you wanna plug this into a calculator, that would be highly recommended. So to solve for the exponent, we're gonna get that x is equal to the log of the big number, so three sevenths. And then that's gonna get divided by the log of the little number, right, log of five and you'll get that this is approximately negative 0 0.526. Uh, I'll go three digits for this one, right? So again, that means this guy is equal to approximately negative 0 0.526, right? Now let's go on to a little bit of a different one. So here we have log base e of 12. So as you can see, we have our special number e right here, right? So this is actually called a natural log. This is another kind of special case of a logarithm. So whenever you have this number e down here, this is the same thing as taking the natural log of this number, which is 12, okay? Log base e and natural log mean the same thing, right? And you'll notice that there's probably two buttons, two different buttons on your calculator one where you can do logs and one where you can do natural logs, all right? So this is just kind of a shortcut way of solving this, right? So again, for this one, you're gonna need a calculator. So you're basically just gonna hit the natural log button and then type in 12 right here. And you'll get that this is equal to approximately 2.48, okay? So basically e raised to what power is equal to 12? Well, e raised to approximately 2.48 is equal to 12. Okay, just a couple more here. So again, we have the natural log of 0 0.3. So again, for these, you're always gonna need your calculator. So the natural log of 0 0.3 is equal to approximately negative 1.2. We'll just round to one digit here. Okay, and then the last one over here is the natural log of e raised to the fifth power. So here you're gonna push the natural log button, then type in this guy right here, e raised to the fifth power. And natural logs and e's basically cancel each other out. So whatever you have up here in the exponent is what's gonna be your answer. So really you don't even need a calculator for this one, but you can use it just to prove it to yourself. But this is gonna be equal to simply five. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.